From Russia's recent election interference, cyber attacks on the U.S. and military buildup on its borders. To China's surging economic power, cyber attacks and military threats in the South China Sea. Which country is the biggest threat to the U.S.? Let us explain. Earlier this year, the Director of National Intelligence presented Congress with its annual threat assessment. The report laid out point by point how Russia and China are America's top two international threats. If it isn't already obvious, I will be representing the People's Republic of China, which the report says has become a near peer with the United States and is poised to become the next superpower. And I'll be representing the Russian Federation, which the report says will likely continue its Cold War-style confrontations with the U.S. We're both going to be helped by an international security expert, Jeff Smith. He's a research fellow at the Heritage Foundation and knows a lot about this stuff. They are both potential threats that both pose different sets of challenges and risks and both require different policies to mitigate those risks. First, military threats. Let's start with China's efforts to claim large parts of the South China Sea. Those waters have invaluable trade routes, fishing resources, and are rich in minerals. China's naval presence there is now at a record high. And in a game of chicken, it's using its navy and warplanes to dip into territorial waters and airspaces of places like Taiwan, Malaysia, and the Philippines, all of which, like China, claim access to the South China Sea. The U.S. is pushing back, though, recently sending two U.S. carrier groups for military exercises in the region. To remind China, we have our allies back. Then there are China's plans to double its nuclear stockpile in the next decade, and experts say there isn't much the U.S. can do about it. As for Russia, the U.S. does have more say regarding nukes in the form of a limited nuclear arms control agreement. Still, intelligence reports say Russia remains the largest and most capable weapons of mass destruction rival to Washington. Some people describe them as a, the mafia running a gas station armed with nuclear weapons. But by the, the, the size of their economy, they're a middle ranking power now, and their population is declining. And as a geopolitical power, they're declining. But every time they argue with the U.S. and spar with the U.S., that elevates them again to the superpower table. And now Russia is using COVID vaccines, energy, and arms sales as a type of foreign policy to gain influence in countries like Venezuela, Cuba, and Iran. Number two, cyber threats. In recent months, Russian hackers have hit oil, computer, and beef packing companies. These attacks now have the federal government shoring up its cybersecurity. The White House says Russia is likely to blame for the attacks and quote, the Russian government has a role to play in stopping and preventing these attacks. And Russia's cyber shenanigans have even seeped into our politics. They hate it when we lecture them about being a thuggish autocracy. Well, they love to be able to point the finger and say, well, look at your democracy isn't functioning. You know, look at how contentious your elections are. Of course, because in part because they're <laughs> stoking uh, dissent and confrontation and sowing mistrust. According to our national intelligence, China is just as big a threat in the area of cyber spying and hacking as Russia. But its cyber efforts are more focused on stealing U.S. intellectual property right now. Investigations into economic espionage by China are up an incredible 1,300 percent the last few years, according to the FBI. China is also focusing on stopping free speech inside its borders by hacking journalists and social media companies like Facebook. Number three, space. China also wants to dominate the space game for prestige and to make gains economically and militarily, according to national intelligence. America landed its rover first on Mars, but the Chinese weren't far behind. The Chinese will have a fully operational space station built as early as 2022. And China is looking to build a robotic research station on the moon and then a manned lunar base. It also will continue its spy satellite efforts and counter space weapons aimed at the U.S. and our allies. Russia, meanwhile, remains a key U.S. competitor in the space race. It's using spy satellites to gather information from U.S. satellites and military communications to use to their advantage in warfare on the ground, creating close calls between soldiers, fighter jets and warships around the world. It's also developing new counter space attacks, including directed laser weapons and jamming technology. Number four and five, trade and the economy. 
China is expected to overtake the U.S. and possibly be the world's largest economy by 2028, based on targeted growth rates. In 2019, it was America's third largest trading partner, exchanging $558.1 billion in total goods, with the bulk of it more than $451 billion exported by China to America. Right now, China's economy depends on the U.S., but Chinese leader Xi Jinping wants to change that with his One Belt, One Road initiative, a modern-day Silk Road. It's a trade route that allows China to easily export its goods to countries across the globe using roads, rail, and ports. The strategy? To increase China's economic independence from the U.S. The U.S. is also at a disadvantage with China because it owns roughly $1.7 trillion of U.S. debt second only to Japan. Russia, on the other hand, is way down on the ladder of trading partners at 26, exchanging only $34.9 billion in goods between our countries. Russia owns less than $4 million in U.S. government bonds, dumping much of its U.S.-owned debt a few years ago, the move sparking a guessing game around the country's motivations. Now it's time for you to decide. Who's the biggest threat to the U.S.? Is it China? Or Russia? Make sure to weigh in by commenting below and head to our website and rate it on our bias meter.